Hi everyone! We will talk about today the reproductive system of some animals or insects. So most animals can only produce a new individual when two parents are present. So this is called the sexual reproduction. So the frogs, the chickens, the cows, and many other animals reproduce by sexual reproduction. Okay, let us talk about the reproductive system of a frog. Frog is a kind of animal. So let us look the illustration of the reproductive system of a female and a male frog. So in a male in a male frog the parts are the thumb pad, then the testes. Then in the female frog, the parts are the oviduct, the ovary, and the uterus. Then the similarities between female and male parts are the vena cava, the fat bodies, the dorsal arta, the adrenal gland, the kidney, and the cloaca. So, those are the parts that they are the same. But, they, they are different in terms of their reproductive organ. In a female frog, the organs are the oviduct, the ovary, and the uterus. Well, in the male frog, the parts are the thumb pad and the testes. So, the principal reproductive organs of male frog are a pair of testes and the female frog are pairs of ovaries. They are just like the parts of a human reproductive system. So, the reproductive system of a female frog. So, the ovaries. What are ovaries? Ovaries where the eggs are produced and stored. How about the oviduct? So, the oviduct, the tube through which the ova pass from the ovary to the uterus. So, the oviduct is a passageway from the ovary to the uterus. Okay, what is a spoon? Okay, spoon is the release of ovum called in female frog. So that is. We go on now to the reproductive system of a male frog. So, testes, pair which are yellowish bean shape. Okay, it is also where sperm cells are produced. So, cloaca is a small and medium chamber that is used to pass fecal matter, urine, and sperms as they exit in the body, in the body of the frog. Then, let's go on now to the mosquito reproductive system. Mosquito is a kind of insect. The female reproductive system of a mosquito. So, here 
are the parts of the female reproductive system of a frog. So, the right ovary, the milk gland, the spar spermatical duct, the vulva, the uterus, the oviduct, okay, and the left ovary. So, the mosquito, just like the human and the frog, they, are all, they are also have left ovary and right ovary. They also have uterus and oviduct. Okay, so these are the, the parts of a mosquito. The overall parts of the body of the mosquito. This includes the intestine, the heart, the digestive tubule, the ovary, the malfigian tubule, the stercoral pocket, the anus, the spinneret, the silk gland, the oviduct, the sperm receptacle, the book lung, digestive cecum, the fang, the esophagus, the venom canal, then the venom gland, the simple eye, the brain, the, st the sucking stomach, the aorta. Then the reproductive system of a cat. So let's go back to the animal. So, let's first discuss the female cat. So, the female cat, the reproductive system of a female cat includes the cervix, the uterine horn, the ovaries, the developing embryos, the vagina, the vulva, and then the anus. Okay, so the frog, the fame, the human, the frog, the mosquito, and the cat, the, the female reproductive system, they all have ovaries. Okay, next. How about the male cat? So let's have, uh, let's talk about the male cat. So the male cat, the reproductive system of a male cat include prostate gland, the vas deferens, the penis, the scrotum, and the testicle. So that's it. So that would be all for now.